So about nine years ago, uh, I decided to take the plunge and open my own business and it's called Crystal Clear Ears and uh, the name is self-explanatory, we clear people's ears. Usually appointments for this technique take around half an hour. So when they come it might be 15 minutes, it might take half an hour. But we're always gentle and we tailor it very much to suit the person who's coming to see us. We have a training program because initially when I first opened there were no training programs in Australia. So we knew we wanted to expand and that the only way to do that was to train our own nurses and we were very keen to do that because we wanted them to be at a high standard. Um, our reputation is very important to us and the safety of our patients who come to us is very important. I'm an audiologist for Better Hearing Australia and we're a not-for-profit organisation. We provide a service for free, independent hearing advice and support to the community and it's good to have a place that we can refer people to if they do have impacted wax because that's obviously going to affect their hearing results. Or if we're doing hearing aid fittings, we need to take the impressions of the ears, we need to make sure that the ears are not full of wax because that is not safe. So we would then refer to Crystal Clear for the wax removal. Another group who refer people to us are ear specialist surgeons or ear, nose and throat doctors. And the reason they do that is because we use the same technique to clean ears that they do. I first met uh, Shelley at the Iron Ear where I was an otologist, uh, or that is ear, nose and throat specialist. I was in charge of a unit there and subsequently went to the children's where I was head there and I stayed there for 30 years. But in my time uh, at the Iron Ear, uh, we saw a lot of adult patients and one of the difficult problems was that of wax in their ear. Now if a person had a wax they normally went to a GP and he would look in their ear with an otoscope and confirm yes it's stuck with wax, we get rid of it. How does he get rid of it? He reaches for his best friend called a syringe and then with force he would inject water under pressure into the canal hoping to dislodge the wax. Sometimes he succeeded but inevitably he did not. Most times the ear was left wet in an unsatisfactory state and sometimes it, it became infected. There was clearly a need for something better than this and this microscope suction technique is the answer. There's no question, it is precise. The operator is looking at third dimensional viewing of the wax, is totally in control and with gentle suction is able to extract wax from the ear in a painless fashion. I love my work and it's an unusual thing that we do and people think it's a bit of a funny career but we absolutely love it because people come in the door of our clinics and they are very frustrated because their ears are blocked and half an hour later they walk back out to the reception desk and our receptionist says how did you go and they say ah oh, that's wonderful I love it I can hear